Hey guys, I know I've been out and um, just dealing with, with life changes and circumstances and everything, but um, I'm going to try to be a little more consistent with you guys. Um, of course, you guys already know life happens. I mean, it happens to the best of us. So um, yeah, I'll just try to stay uh, more of a schedule, have more of a schedule with um, the readings for you guys as I was doing before but um, if I happen to fall off you guys please know that I am human and um, I go through ups and downs just like everybody else okay so this reading is for Cancer Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter signs and this is for the month of March of course whenever you guys do this reading is when you are meant to view it um, so I really have thought about just not even putting a time or um, a, a date on the readings because I mean when you see it is when you're meant to see it anyway so I know a lot of people like to see the date so for now we'll keep the dates there as I was pre shuffling before I actually started the camera I got this sense that there was somebody um, holding back or keeping secrets or or trying to keep something secret you know it's what I got the sense of I feel like like it's a lot of Piscean energy that's um, going on right now I don't know if some of you guys are dealing with Pisces but I feel like there is a definite um, sense that somebody may be hiding something to keep the peace for some of you or to keep from hurting someone's feelings something like that so anyway let's go ahead and get started with your reading what is the energy going on around my cancers seven of cups Scorpio energy there I definitely feel like somebody's hiding something um, there there's something that I don't even really know how to put it to words but I'm feeling like there's certain there's there's certain choices that are on the table right now and one person is not sharing with the other person what is actually going on they're trying to figure it out themselves they're not really sharing anything with the other person um, and just trying to figure out what is the best way to proceed here Again, this is Scorpio energy here with the Seven of Cups. What is crossing my Cancers? The Hierophant. Huh. Some of you are actually thinking about um, marrying somebody. But you're trying to figure out if that's what's best for you. Because a part of you feels like maybe this is not the best thing. Maybe, you know, your belief sifts. Your belief. I can't even talk. Your belief systems don't necessarily jive with this person or maybe you guys are different have different backgrounds like um, religious factors may be a factor actually um, or just the way that you were brought up the way you do things the way you handle things in a family dynamic may be different and so I feel like a lot of you are really trying to figure out if this is the person that you want to spend your life with Taurus energy there. What's the underlying issue here for Cancer? Two of Pentacles. You can't, you're having a hard time making a choice. You're having a hard time deciding what your priorities are, what you want those priorities to be here. Capricorn energy. Where are you going to see the, the, the most um, gain? from or at however you word it you know it's like you you're you're having a hard time making a decision and sticking to it some of you actually have other people that you're taking into account um, maybe you have a main person and then you have friends, people that you actually talk to on the phone or uh, you may not have a sexual relationship with them or either you're concerned about whether the other person has these options 
and you're wanting to get married, but you're feeling like maybe this person's juggling. And maybe they are, but maybe they're not. So there's some level of confusion. There's a need to be open and honest um, to talk to the partner about whatever his feelings are going on. Because I think most of the issue here is the lack of communication because somebody is definitely holding something in, holding something back. And so there's a need to like have effective communication here. What was going on in the recent past for cancer? Recent past for cancer. Three of swords, your heart was broken. Your heart was broken. You feel like there was something going on. Um, somebody cheated on you. Whether it's this current person or just somebody from your past has cheated on you. And I think, you know, that's still sitting with you. It's still sitting with you right now because you don't want to be taken for a fool. Is a thing. You want to have a discussion about... Um, what it is that you want, what it is that you need, what you need to feel secure and happy. But the thing is, I don't know if you are sure of what it's going to take for you to be happy. Because I feel like there's some something that's still with you that you're carrying from before. Or even with this person, there's something some hurt that you're carrying. Libra energies here. Crony thoughts for cancer. Justice. Definitely want to do the right thing. You want to, you want to get what you deserve and you want to do right by the other person as well. You definitely don't want to juggle. You don't want to be juggled. You want to know that once you commit or once they commit, that this is going to be something that's just and right and that can endure. That's going to be um, something that is beneficial for both of you. Again, Libra energy there. What's coming in for Cancer? Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Capricorn is your opposite sign. I feel like, you know, there's a struggle here within you. There's a struggle within you. Whether or not to invest with this person, to continue to invest with this person, because maybe they've hurt you before and you're really not sure about this situation currently. Because somebody's made you feel like you were one of, you weren't the only one, let's just put it that way. Um, maybe you feel like this person was giving to someone else. I feel you almost shutting down keeping to yourself um but you're struggling with that you're struggling with that because i feel you like shutting off closing yourself off here with that four of pentacles hmm. how is cancer viewing this situation Four of Swords. Fours are very stable energy, and um, you know you definitely want to don't want to go to the five because fives are com conflict. You know, so I think right now you're just really trying to get your head together. Um, you're really healing from something here. This is Libra energy as well. Strong Libra in your reading for a lot of you. Capricorn is here. Taurus is here. Scorpio is here. I do feel like the Piscean energy is is more your energy. And I think you are the one that's calling the shots here. I feel strongly for a lot of you that you're the you're the the <laughs> you are the deciding factor, my God, um, in this situation. Because I feel like you've been hurt. And I do feel you shutting yourself off because you do need that time to heal. If this person has hurt you before, maybe this person is like trying to propose marriage to you to kind of um, like deflect what they've done before. 
you know like if somebody's cheated on you if if um, they had someone else and then you find out about it or you suspect and then they say oh no you're the only one let's get married and it's kind of like to, to to get your mind off of what it is that you found out you know and so I feel like right now you're trying to get your thoughts together to figure out what the hell you want to do <clears throat> what is the influence here for cancer queen of swords yeah you've been hurt you've been hurt and I feel like you're ready to cut a bitch <laughs> to be honest with you you know yeah you're shielding yourself and you, you want this person to be up front don't try to pull something over my eyes don't try to tell me what I want to hear tell me the damn truth okay that's what the influence in this situation is it's like don't don't try to like do this whole smoke and mirrors kind of bullshit you know just be up front again that's Libra energy there <clears throat> let's see hopes or fears for cancer nine of cups yeah you're hoping to definitely be happy a lot of you are thinking about going your own separate way doing you hmm. there's something in you that that's almost making you feel like you know being single is scary it's scary for you to be single but at the same time that's where you're leaning more towards not opening up closing down I think you've been open but you've been hurt so it's now it's time to reel it back in and like okay let me let me go over here and and, and rest my damn nerve and figure shit out you know overall outcome for cancer ace of wands that's a new start that's a new start if starting over is what you feel is right for you and you cannot you feel like you cannot get past um, some sort of betrayal that somebody has has done to you then that's what you do guys okay at the end of the day you've got to do what's best for you you've got to be a little selfish in this life you consider other people's feelings, but you consider yours first and foremost. How are you feeling about this situation? And I see a lot of you are feeling like, okay, you know, it, it may just be best for me to just go my separate way. To go on without this person. Okay? So, that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.